I'm going to do some Charleston sprints for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. The purpose of this exercise is to push myself to make decisions in under two minutes. It's a great way to prepare for playing in a tournament or for playing online. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. I have my smartphone here. We are going to do five laps. Laps one, three, and five will be the sprints. Two and four will be set up. My goal is to make decisions in under two minutes. Let's roll the dice to see which seat we're in. I rolled a five. For the first sprint, we're going to be player one. So I'm going to get 14 tiles and then I will make a mock Charleston with no jokers. Okay, we got to make up time for dropping that tile. We have no multiples. We have news. I'm thinking maybe a year hand with news or winds and dragons. Let's pass one of each suit. East, keeping it. Dragon, keeping it. Year tiles and winds and dragons. Let's pass these three. flower. We have tiles we can pass. We need to make a choice. Let's give up the one. There's a one. No, let's pass. I think a wind and dragon hand here is probably going to be best. We have two tiles to pass. Let's give up the dragon. We got tiles here. We've got our 2019 tiles anyway. North and south. Look at that. North and south and flowers. I wouldn't pass a flower. I would pass probably in E. I would not pass. We're going to lap. I would not do the chart optional cross because we're in between north and south with the year second hand down or news concealed either one and I wouldn't pass a flower and not only that but I don't think I would pass that I don't think I'd pass that or even that or even that I think that would be risky so I'd rather keep it and have options news concealed or news year hand second hand down probably news concealed because we have all these flowers so i'd say four discards if we played the year hand we would have four discards so i'd say that was a pretty successful charleston even with dropping a tile on the floor we made it in two minutes exactly Okay, so I like to start with the multiples, five, seven, 
four, five, six, seven, consecutive run, four, five, six, seven. Let's pass these three. We're going to keep four through seven. Probably the eight can go twos. We're going to break that up. We've got fives and sevens. So we'll pass those. We got a seven and a six. So we'll keep those. Five, six, seven, twos. Let's give up. Let's see. Four, five, six, seven. There we go. So we've got like numbers. Four, five, six, seven. I would risk passing like numbers in this case. We could have passed blind, but I want to give myself options here. Let's pass these three and keep going. We got a six and tiles to pass. Oh, look, we've got keepers. Four, five, six, seven. Okay, Pung, Kong, Pung, Kong. Let's give up one of the Pung tiles. No keepers. No keepers, I would pass one blind. We got the six back. Sometimes that happens. Pung, Kong, Pung, Kong. This hand is set. We can Pung, Kong. This is already punged and we can Kong there. Two discards. That was a really great Charleston. One more to go. For this, we have pair of whites, pair of threes, three, five. There is a one, three, five hand, mixed suits, one, three, three, five. We have a gap of no three, bam. I'd keep the dragon and pass these three. Let's see if we can get a three, bam, or do like numbers with threes. The one, three, five is opposite, so I wouldn't keep the dots. We're looking for threes, really. One, one, three, five, one suit, maybe. Let's pass these. That's a bit risky. We need help here, though. Ones! Wow, look at that. Maybe we should do like numbers with ones. Let's do like numbers with ones. There's a flower. We could do a year hand. like numbers with ones. Oh, we ended up getting that three. Look at that. Okay. Let's see. One, 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 three. We're on. I would pass blind. Let's, let's pass. Let's, pa oh, either way. It doesn't matter. Let's pass those. We got a red. Okay, I would pass one blind. We got a one. Like numbers with ones. Three discards. One, these, either one could be the pairs or pungs, and then these would be the kongs. Like numbers with ones, second hand down under like numbers. Ooh, that one was kind of hard because of those threes, but that three bam came in at the last minute. But I think that one three five hand might have come in. We would have had to pass risky though, even though there was risk in some of those passes already. But this is a pretty good outcome. 
All we need are one BAMs, really, and build up one of these. Let's see how things went with the time. The purpose of Charleston Sprints is to push yourself to make quick decisions. The guideline I like to use is a two minute average. If you're a beginner, try four minutes. And if you're an intermediate player, try three minutes. But push yourself to make quick decisions. It's a great way to desensitize yourself from playing on that clock, especially if you want to play online or prepare to play in a tournament. Let's check the time for these sprints. Sprint one, two minutes exactly. That's when I dropped the tile. Sprint two, one minute, 50 seconds. Sprint three, two minutes, one second. As an average, I made it under my goal. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click that little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table between now and the next Charleston Sprints for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. May all your picks be keepers.